Hi, I'm Laura. Life was good growing up. I liked going to school and playing soccer, basketball, swimming on a swim team, playing the clarinet in middle school and spending time with my friends. When I was in 10th grade, things began to change. I started having headaches and stomach aches, difficulty sleeping, and I didn't want to go to school anymore. It was strange because I was a good student and I was in honors classes. My doctor diagnosed me with depression and anxiety. I began seeing a psychiatrist and started taking an antidepressant, an anti-anxiety medication, and a sleep aid. I ended up continuing my 10th grade year through a home and hospital program. At the end of the school year, I was better. I was able to wean off all the medications. I returned to school for the 11th and 12th grade without any problems. I applied to six colleges and I got accepted into all of them. At age 21, I was living at home, attending a local college, studying psychology. That April, I started having falls and tripping. I reluctantly agreed to go to the hospital and had a brain MRI that showed I had a demyelinating disease, a form of leukodystrophy. It would take two months and lots of testing before I got my diagnosis. I was diagnosed with metachromatic leukodystrophy, MLD. It's a rare genetic neurological disease that is progressive in nature, meaning it gets worse over time. The incidence is one in 40,000. There is no cure. The only treatment is a bone marrow transplant in hopes of slowing down or stopping the progression of the disease. A bone marrow transplant isn't an easy treatment. It involves getting chemotherapy and immune suppressant drugs. Not everyone who has MLD is determined to be a good candidate for this treatment. Ideally, the best candidate is one who hasn't even experienced any symptoms yet. I was told a bone marrow transplant could be helpful if done as soon as possible. So on September 16, 2011, I had a bone marrow transplant, thanks to my sister Emily, who was my perfect match donor. MLD is a bad disease. It has taken away some of my abilities. I work hard at PT and OT and aqua therapy and exercise at a home. I try to focus on the things I still can do. I love to go to the movies, listen to music, go out to eat, listen to a good book, go to the zoo, volunteer at the animal shelter and go on vacation. MLD is always on my mind. I talk about it every day and I pray for a cure every night. This video is my way to increase awareness of my disease and that neuroscience is essential to bring hope. Thanks for listening.